The number one factor that I feel contributes to my students' learning is relationship building. I believe before any curriculum, any class activity that can happen, if you don't have a relationship with your children, and if your children don't trust you, and if they don't feel that your classroom is an extension of their home, you really can't dig deep into their learning. If I could create a perfect space for my children to learn in, it would be an extension of their home a space that they create themselves. Our classroom is quite bare in September and the children start to fill our classroom with things from their home. They bring a family photo, they bring a toy from home, they do an activity with their parent. So I really believe that those environments that the children create are the ones that they can attach to and um, really embrace learning. Uh, based on my knowledge and experience with technology in the classroom, in an early childhood setting, we really use technology for research. What we do is we use our computer to research questions that they may have, maybe watch a video. It's really a tool for them to deepen their curiosity. It's, it's really more a tool for us to communicate with the families and for the children to dive deeper into their own questions that they have. My biggest piece of advice for pre-service educators is to take your classroom into the community. My best practices uh, presentation was about my relationship and my class class's relationship with Farmer Jim, a 96-year-old neighbor who lives two blocks away from our school. So if you take a class of 30 preschoolers to go by and say hi, and I think that's really powerful for children to have authentic relationships with seniors, high school students. It's a real authentic relationship with someone who has experienced a lot more uh, with them, and they share stories like real friends do and that's what my children have really developed with Jim.